Alright, so I'm going to show you guys something cool um, to do with your guys' delay pedals. Um, and I think it is pretty creative, um, pretty unique, and very easy. Um, so what it is, is if you have a delay pedal, please put it through your effects loop because I'm pretty sure it does not work properly. From last time I tried it, I put it through the front of the amp and it just sounded like shit. So always put it through effects loop if you don't know what that is. Um, the effects loop, you take these two cables and put it in the effects loop in the back of your amp, and it just sounds so much more pure. Everything, that's what it's made for, effects loop. So, um, I should do a video on that. Um, you can comment and ask if you want me to show you how effects loops work. Other than that, uh, what you're going to do is with your, any delay pedal, um, you're going to put the repeats, the repeats of, so how many da 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 you want it to be on all the way full. Um, most analog pedals will do this. Some of the weak ones or the cheaper ones probably won't because they don't have like infinity delay. Um, but it's pretty cool. But I will warn you, um, doing this, you will have sometimes the loudest feedback ever and you just turn off your amp right away if you can. I'm going to try to show you it without totally fucking up. Um, but it's pretty cool. So anyway, I am just on the clean channel and I'm going to turn this one on and I'm just going to strum the string. Oops, forgot to put my affinity delays on. So now I turn my guitar off. See how it's just constantly beeping? It sounds like a damn siren. Then you take your delay time, so your repeats are on full. You take your delay time and turn it. That's fucking awesome. And then you can slow it down. And what's cool is you can make the mix louder. And then if you really twirl it, so let me try that again with another string. So let me try it with two. Sorry, I am taking long. And what's very cool. Oh, oh, oh. See, there's that. Alright, so there's that. Now, what's cool is, say, for instance, if you have a different style delay, you can do that. Let's see. So. Oops. So it's pretty cool, and that's a stereo delay. Um, you can do it with all si sorts of these and get like the craziest sounds. So that's just this pedal, and this one probably can do the most. But also, you can do it with this hard wire, and I would do it like lo-fi, and... and... What's cool about this one, it has individual like select timing. Very, very cool. Let me do another one on here. So let's see. Let's do. Let's just do reverse delay so we can hear how that goes. Oops.
<laughs> it's, it's still going. That's nuts. All right, so there's that one, this one, and so this one's a little different because this one you don't have like presets; you just have a full individual knob. And this one goes like one, two, three, four, five, six, like little, uh, little set presets, um, which is cool. Now, the MXR is the most craziest one, I would say. I'm going to demo it um, because this one is analog, so it really freaking screeches when you so. cool is you can actually if you have more delay pedals you can do more than one so I'm gonna leave this one on and watch this screech but As you can see, it's still going as I put on standby. Um, that's how it works. Uh, it's a cool delay trick. Send your repeats on full. Be careful with the mix volume and have fun. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my other delay videos. I did reviews on each one of these uh, delay pedals and everything else I own. Hope this helps. Have fun. Bye.